today's lesson is about conjugate multiply. In math, conjugate multiply is used to simplify denominators. So normally it's used in square root expressions such as square root of 3 plus 2 and top is a 5 minus 2 square root of 7. For complex numbers, for example, when we have 3 plus 2i, then top will be um, 6 minus 5i. You know, when your denominator has this pattern, has this pattern, and then you have to use conjugate multiplication to simplify. And for trig identities, we just did, and we have like uh, a over 1 plus or minus sin x, then we have b, then it's 1 plus or minus cosine x. Then you have to use conjugate multiplication and then to simplify the denominator. So basically, conjugate multiply, and then we call like this, a plus or minus b, and it will be conjugate to a minus or plus b. The conjugate multiply the pattern will be a plus b times a minus b equal to a squared minus b squared. If it is complex numbers, then we will have a plus bi times a minus bi equal to a squared plus b squared. Yeah, this one is the first formula. Here is the second formula. The third formula, and we just did for trig identities, 1 plus sin x times 1 minus sin x. Then you have 1 minus sin square x equal to cosine square x. And we have 1 plus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x. Then you have 1 minus cosine square x equal to sine square x. So let's do some example for square root expressions in, a, in complex numbers. Okay, so for the simplify the following expressions, this is a square root expressions. And look at the denominator. We notice that it's a 2 plus square root of 3. We cannot just multiply by square root of 3, top and bottom, to get rid of this square root at the denominator. So basically, we go to conjugate multiplication. I have 1 over 2 plus square root of 3. Then I need to multiply top and bottom is conjugate 2 minus square root of 3. 2 minus square root of 3. So you will have 2 square. It's a, yeah, let me write down that first. 2 square minus square root of 3 square. Top, I will get 2 square root of 3. So I will get 4 minus 3, 2 minus square root of 3. And your answer will be 2 minus square root of 3, because your denominator equals 1. OK, let's go to the second problem. So for the second problem, same thing, I have 1 minus square root of 5, 
then top is square root of three. Then you need to multiply by its conjugate. One plus square root of five. One plus square root of five. So your denominator will be one square minus square root of five square. And at top, we do distributive property. You get square root of three plus square root of 15. Okay, so you will get one minus five, it's negative four. Here's one, here's a five. Okay, write down the top still square root of three plus square root of 15. Square root of 15 is already simplified because it cannot divide by those four key numbers, right? 4, 9, 25, 49. So, but denominator cannot be negative. So I put the into top. In other words, I got everything, it's the opposite. So my answer will be here it's a 4 negative square root of 3 minus negative 15. Yeah, that's your answer. Okay, let's go to the last one. Last one is I have 1 minus square root of 3. So top is square root of 3 plus 1. I need to multiply by its conjugate. 1 plus square root of 3. 1 plus square root of 3. Top and bottom. So my denominator, I will get 1 squared is 1 minus square root of 3 squared is 3. So we do for you this time. And square root of 3 multiplied by 1 is square root of 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is a 3. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times square root of 3 is square root of 3. Then I need to combine like terms to the top. Denominator, I got the negative 2. Top, square root of 3, square root of 3 is a 2 square root of 3. And uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. So I divided by negative 2 because we can reduce that. So I would get the negative square root of 3 minus 2. That's the final answer. Now let's go to complex numbers. For the complex number, and this is the formula is a very important property for complex numbers. So I square equals negative one, then complex conjugate is a, a plus bi and a minus bi. Then multiplication, you will get the a square plus b square. Just memorize this formula from here to here. And then it's a way to simplify this kind of uh, uh, complex numbers as denominator, you have to multiply its conjugate. So you get the c square plus d square. Top, you got to do the for you, basically. Okay, so let's give you some example this time. So let's look at the number one. Basically, just multiply by the conjugate first. So 3 minus 5i. And top is 3 minus 5i. So you will get a square plus b square. 3 square plus 5 square. Then at top, you have to do distributive property. I got the 6i 
minus 10i squared. Then keep going. 3 squared is 9. Yeah, this one is 3. Square is 9 plus 25. 9 plus 25. And top, this is square. So give you negative 1, you need to change the sign. That's why you get the 6i plus 10. Then I organize. I do the 10 plus 6i. Then denominator will be 34. Then reduce them. Top and a denominator we divide by 2. So I will get 5 plus 3i over 17. Yeah, that's the final answer. So for the number 2, we do the same thing. I need to multiply by its conjugate now. I multiply by 4 plus 3i. Then 4 plus 3i to the top also. You will get the 4 square plus 3 square. Then top, you got to do for you now. So I will get the 20 plus 15i minus 4i. Then it will be minus 3i squared. So your bottom is 16 plus 9 is 25. Then we combine like terms to the top. Um, this is a square. I square equals negative 1. So basically, I cancel this. I change the sign. And uh, 20 plus 3 will be 23. Then it will be plus 11i. Yeah, that's the final answer you have. Here's the one.